Welcome to this Windows and Computer channel and this is the quick look and review of the latest build of Windows 10. This is Redstone 5 version, which is Windows 10 Insider version 17713. It was released today around 1 p.m. this afternoon. As you see here, it's 8 p.m. Took the usual three, three and a half hours, maybe a little longer than usual actually. Um, well, you know, the process of, of preparing itself to the install was kind of longer, but uh, the install went flawlessly, no problems, unlike last build when I couldn't install really. And uh, so, um, what's new in here? Well, first of all, one thing to know is that they're resetting skip ahead. That means that if you were on skip ahead, you'll be moved to fast ring and you'll have to opt-in again when the time comes to be on skip ahead the other thing is that they're starting to wind down on the features and doing more bug fixes so um you know we're getting to that time again when the uh, when the operating system is getting tweaks to um, prepare itself for release um, that's probably somewhere late in september um, early October so uh, that's gonna be interesting to see what's new in here well of course there are some new things first of all Microsoft Edge now has its settings for per site media autoplay controls so if you want to uh, control which website can or will not play uh, automatic media autoplay videos for example or audio when you go to media autoplay, which is set to block on my site, I can now uh, go to manage permissions and uh, website permissions. Um, and you will be able to choose uh, if you, you know, have the permissions for these different um, websites to go through. So you'll be able to uh, play around with that on the website permission stuff. Um, so that's one improvement. The other improvement is in the reading view. So if we go to Neowin, for example, here, and I click an article, and on that article, I will, you know, here we go. We will go to a reading view. So, of course, reading view, which is, and this is an interesting article I haven't seen today. I'm going to read that about YouTube creator stuff. So uh, once it's ready, you will have reading view appear. Here we go. So we click the reading view on the top. And the reading view, of course, that I use a lot because it's kind of fun. You can now actually, uh, in reading view, um, search for definition. So reading view, uh, ebooks, and PDFs. You can actually select a word. And when you do so, it will actually show up the definition. So here, verb, cause something to occur in a particular way, and so on, and there's more if you want. And there's, um, you can have the pronunciation of um, the, the word. Determine. Determine. And so that could help me sometimes, probably. So there is improvements in here, which is kind of nice. Uh, I think it's a pretty cool little thing and you can read it aloud. You have improvements in the PDF reader. So um, when you have PDFs that you actually are going to read in Microsoft Edge, now there's a new option to add notes in the um, toolbar of the um, PDF toolbar. And you can pin, unpin the toolbar also. So you see that they're you know slowly um, doing things. So for example, here you can pin the toolbar, it pins it there, unpin the toolbar, kind of floats on it. Uh, and of course, add notes is right here. So you can actually note a PDF and, you know, underline and do whatever you want, which is kind of cool. And of course, uh, this is once again, more improvements to that. They've done some rendering improvements um, for the performance so now uh, you will see less and less of the white pages when you navigate through PDF files. There's notepad improvements. So notepad is that little 
note um, app that's been with Windows for, I, don't know, I wonder when the notepad appeared, but I think, hang on, I think it appeared like in Windows 3. I'm trying to remember when notepad appeared first time, but uh, it's been there for a long time. And of course, notepad hasn't changed in years. Well, they've done some little improvements here. There's now, um, you know, when you uh, start writing, uh, there is a wraparound that now happens. So when you get to the, uh, the way that it works before, it was kind of a little mess when you would actually write long text. They would kind of just, you know, go line by line and words were kind of broken at the end. Now there's a wrap around, like Microsoft Office Word, for example, wrapping around and not cutting everything. Um, there's more information now also. So you have the uh, information of, you know, lines and columns and things like that which is nice. There's, of course, new find and replace uh, options. There's also a new zoom, so you can zoom in and make things even better. So uh, here's control plus, so you can use, of course, the shortcut. So this is making things bigger. So um, that's kind of cool and, um, you know, pretty nice, pretty nice to see that they've done things with um, Notepad. I know some people that actually use Notepad and I actually, you know what, use Notepad quite regularly when I needed to take, you know, like just a few notes for a very simple reason is that Notepad is such a lightweight um, text editor and even sometimes just copying text is just, it works great with Notepad. Uh, and it's so lightweight that it's like almost instantaneous. They've improved the performance also when you're opening really large files in Notepad. That was a big issue because if you opened, for example, a, I don't know, 100 page text, it would take a long time for Notepad to open that. Now they've improved that. Notepad now supports Control plus Backspace to delete the previous word uh, that you've done. Arrow keys now correctly unselect text first and then move the cursor. Uh, when saving a file in Notepad, the line and column number no longer reset to one. Notepad now correctly displays lines and don't that don't fit entirely on the screen. So they've really done some you know a few things here. Uh, remote desktop biometrics and login stuff that is available. So if you are into that, uh, web sign in into Azure services and all of that. A uh, faster way to sign in with uh, Windows 10 when shared PCs. So if you have shared PCs deployed in the workplace and so on, they've improved that and made things better for uh, all of that on Windows, uh, this, this version of Windows. Windows Defender Application Guard, if you, you have that option available, because that's available only in certain versions of Windows 10, uh, into the app in browser control. Well, they've made some more improvements and uh, using you know isolated browsing, standalone browsing, and and, and all of that, which is kind of nice. Um, inking updates—they've actually you know improved the inking um, into maps, into um, and there's like intuitive gestures and stuff like that that are added. And that's um, you know what you can uh, even edit what you've written with simple gestures and um, have you know of course recognition of the. Uh, a written text, for example, if you use a pen. So that's pretty much what you have here. Uh, of course, lots of bug fixes, uh, quite a lot of bug fixes, known issue. And this is uh, one that is actually, they've, they've really made this one big because they say, uh, currently working on resolve of a known issue in build 17.713 that is causing Windows recovery environment to be inaccessible and causing recovery reset scenarios to be blocked. So under update and security, recovery are affected. So you can not recover from that uh, for sure. And of course, for the rest, still making uh, some uh, you know changes and there's a lot of known issues as usual, as this is unfinished as it's coming later this year. So that's pretty much what I have to say. It's very solid for me. Um, one of the things I have noticed is that Microsoft's Edge seems to be faster. I don't know about you guys, but everything that I've done in Edge since I've installed this build, everything is faster. 
there was kind of a sluggishness in Microsoft Edge for the past several builds. Uh, almost to 1803, I would say, in this machine. And this is actually improving. It launches faster. It displays my, um, you know, start page faster. And everything seems to be better. So they've done really a lot of improvements here because it really seems to be faster. Um, no blue screens, green screens, no problems, no errors. Um, nothing that I've noted that was weird or not working well. And of course, we'll be uh, continuing to check that out for sure because uh, there uh, were a few little things sometimes happening and you know sometimes you got to use it for a while before you actually notice. So how does it go for you? Do you like your uh, latest build of Windows 10? Uh, why not share that information with us? Let us know what you like, dislike, uh, can you install it? Do you have a problem installing it? Uh, please share and uh, please be polite. Don't use F words or bad words because I'll remove your comments. If you have any comments, questions, suggestions, let us know. And thank you for watching.